to our channel. Today we're going to be telling you our crazy wisdom teeth stories while playing a nobby. And so has a wisdom teeth in at the moment. Wait. No, out. <laughs> And we're also going to be telling you some funny, weird, and interesting stories. Okay, now since we're going to tell all our surgery stories soon, but something I actually really want to ask you guys is what color eyes do you think I have? Because I don't... You have blue eyes, man! Stop saying you don't, bro. No, no. They're not proper blue, but they're kind of... likes to think she's unique and has different colored eyes, but at the end of the day, she doesn't. Blue. Just blue eyes. I don't, I don't... I feel like they're rather... Pe like they're rather straight up blue, or they're just rather straight up green. I don't feel like they're ever like... <laughs> They're blue. It's finished. And the discussion. I would actually love to have brown eyes. Yeah, I feel like brown really eyes are so bloody pretty. Yeah, I agree. You make your pupils look really big. Yeah, for sure. No, great. blue eyes are great. Yeah, they're great. And I like blue eyes more. But quite personally, I feel like brown eyes, like what Nat said, really bring out pupils. No. I would rather have brown eyes over any. With brown eyes, you can't really see the pupil. Because I just want to think, like, why be ungrateful when you have a really rare eye color? I'm like, not being ungrateful, I'm just- That one there was a violation. Like nothing against brown eyed people, but like, um, I definitely wouldn't give up my blue eyes for brown eyes. Ooh. Bro's Ooh. just triggering the entire population right now. Get 80% of the population. Cannot change your eyes. He's level so easy, I don't even have to jump on that for this. See, let's just probably not want to do that. I don't know, maybe if there's people like me who want brown eyes instead of blue eyes. Uh, maybe you can just make that, don't do that stuff. Stay the same. Yeah, I would never get surgery to change something, but I'm pretty sure there is a surgery. Some maybe some people don't like their eye color. I love jumping. Guys, no, I really, I but really like. Why would you want normal colored eyes against like rare ones? Because they look better brown ones. Guys, brown ones are better than blue ones. Normal color eyes sounds super rude. Yeah, I feel like that's a very mean name. Normal colored eyes. Everyone has different eyes. Yeah, what's normal? What do other people think is normal? Maybe. I think the rarest eye color is red. Red. No, gray is also really rare. Mum, at one stage, I think when I was younger, mum thought I had gray eyes. Really? No. They, actually, look up gray eyes. Doesn't have every single color eyes. <laughs> look up gray eyes. Look at look them up. They can appear as blue and green. Oh my gosh. No, actually, no. Look them up. I want purple eyes. That's what I want. If that means that, then I must have like. Yeah. Look at look at gray eyes. They're just yeah, blue see, eyes. They do look a little bit like my eyes. Nazi, do you want us to say that you have, yeah. you don't do you have blue eyes? What are you trying to do? No, 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 I actually want to work out what my real eye color is. Because I just, I just don't, it's just not blue. It's just not straight up. Like, it, they're pretty straight up, but they're not blue. You know what I mean? I mean, I wouldn't, like, blue eyes are great and all. But, and like, it's kind of, it's like saying I have brown eyes. They're just not. It's kind of just like, I don't feel like that's the answer. And I don't feel like ants, the green, ants is greeny. Do you want Hazel? Is Hazel the oh answer? Yes, Naz does have Hazel eyes. Naz, the answer Hazel you're getting... Like yeah, you, your eyes are definitely Hazel Naz. Yeah. No, my eyes are straight blue. No, see, 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 see that's same, same. Bro, this is such a triggering combo because like, on, like on the pod, on the pod right now, the pod is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. What? <laughs> I don't know, I really like calling this the pod. Unfortunately, Legends, I currently laugh at all my siblings' um, s s super funny jokes. I can't laugh at all your siblings. I feel like, I feel like Papa definitely has blue eyes. I feel like Mum's got a very, I don't know, even, I never... Mum's got a silver. Oh, bro, Mum... But you wait for me, so I'll get for the camera. Tell her that you have blue eyes, bro. No, I think mum has Mum thinks blue's eyes are the goat. Mum thinks blue eyes are the goat. They are the goat, bro. I don't know, I blue eyes. Blue eyes is what everyone wants. I'm so people make fun of blue eyed people, but that's just yeah. because they no, want it. Because they're jealous. <laughs> and the our eyes are so captivating and beautiful. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> True, though. I mean, I guess The main thing you focus on people is like you make eye contact. You look into their eyes. You don't get and when they're beautiful blue, like. It's perfect. Girl, you don't need to get more sensitive about an eye color. No, I just want you to say that blue eyes are beautiful because they have blue eyes. Well, I do not. I don't, I don't like blue eyes. No, say when that's a funny about eye color. I did TikTok where I could see like me with different eye colors and like I look just so standard you look with brown so eyes. Much better than I look so standard. I don't like it. Standard. That's mean to us. Don't mean to people with brown eyes. No. I'm just saying, like, I think my blue eyes, like, really make, like, I love my blue eyes. You're one of those people that think their blue eyes are, like, their identity. I tell you, I thought you said you couldn't talk with emotion because of your wisdom teeth. You seem very emotionally yeah. attached to this. You're like, I can't laugh today, guys, because I have wisdom teeth. And, like, I don't have any more. Nah, this is, like, a very juicy video. Like, everyone's kind of arguing about colored eyes. 
There's nothing changing my opinion. I think brown eyes are the best. The only thing I don't like when brown eyes are like a light colored. I think they look so bloody pretty when they're dark. Like, oh. I think every eye color is pretty, especially every because eye every eye color like normally matches the, the person who has them. I feel like it, it's fine. If I have brown eyes, well, I feel like, you know, that's what God gave me, so I'll be happy with it. <laughs> I'm really happy I have blue eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm dying. You're dying. You ate an entire enchilada today. Like, I haven't eaten anything solid because I've got four wisdom teeth out. I've got stitches in my mouth, right? And then, like, just, just the ice cream. Saber is now chomping down enchiladas like a little much. But she's like, oh, my teeth are so sore. But, like, she's ate an enchilada. Yeah, you can't tell teeth are sore when you eat enchiladas. Like, that's proper yeah. chewing. You can't really well, so you watch her do it, though. Like, that's what I think it's like. Like the tortilla, the beans, the tomatoes, the rice, like that's a lot. I need a Oh, my respect is over there. Whoa! I've gained an unlimited amount of respect for you for not eating the corn chips. Congratulations. Also, ladies, we're gonna be telling the wisdom teeth story really soon, so just stay tuned for that. But who wants to hear? So I was watching this video on YouTube, okay? This actually refers back to surgery. I was watching this video on YouTube. Most top, like, you know, like surgery. The best. Yeah. No. No. Yes. Disgusting. You know those videos where they're like top, um, where they're like, ten. What would happen if you got attacked by zombies in ten minutes? And then they'd be like five minutes in. Yeah. Like those sort of stuff. Anyway, I watched that. It was like most top, um, most painful spots to get a needle. In between the. Um. So one of the most one of the most painful things, one of the most painful places to get a needle, which was really close up there, was somewhere I actually got a needle from like a little surgery I had. And it's right in between your toe. Oh, I see. Yeah. No, we're like in between like two toes. Yeah, like, little, like it's almost like the little like this little thing that like divides them. Oh. Sort of thing. Right there, and that's where I because I had a um I had an ingrown toe when I was younger. Um, I probably got surgery for it like two weeks, two years ago. Do you know the most painful place to get a needle is on the heel? No. Oh, I, heel. I, I, I don't know. I, didn't, I don't remember what the first most painful place was. All I remember was my where I got it was up there. And I didn't even cry when I got it. I remember like someone made a video about like um the pin therapy and we all put the pins in the nerves, whatever. Oh, I can find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway, um, like they did one on the heel of his foot or somewhere really close to the foot or the toe. Anyway, it, it must be the most sensitive, most painful spot in like the human body or something. I might be wrong, okay? I'm not liable for any misinformation. No, that's, my, that's what they said to me. I remember being so scared for Neil. They said they could do my butt. I was like, no! Who said that? <laughs> no, I was so scared because I'm, I think, I think the butt isn't very muscle. There's no muscle. Uh, yeah, so that's good, right? No, because oh, it means it doesn't no, hurt, no, right? Yeah. Hey, Brady, there's muscles. That's how you get like yeah, heaps. heaps. Oh. Like at the end, I thought it was easier than a needle. I was so petrified, I literally cried, but it was, it was all just in my head. It didn't actually hurt. You know, doctors said they practice needles on oranges. Isn't that, did anyone know that? It's like got skin, it's got the juice, they practice it on oranges. Unless that doctor lied to me, my whole life's been a lie. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's what they told me. And after I got my foot surgery done, I might say toe, but I'm just gonna say foot. Mum, we went to the art shop and we got. To, she let me buy a bunch of things there. And that's when my passion of art and drawing actually started. Because I got Prismacolors, which I wanted so much. Yeah. All right, so basically, Legends, what happened was, mm -hmm. I had, I always got tonsillitis, which is like, I'm sure you've got it before. It's like a, when you wake up sick and you have pain in your tonsils. Mama was like, okay, I'm sick of Biggie get, having tonsillitis. It must be super painful. Like, So let's just get his tonsils out so he never has again. Whoa. So I had the fast like that morning. Had my like, operation at like, I think it was like about. Sorry. Went in my mouth, cut out my tonsils. Ugh. So painful. When I woke up, I was just in so much pain. Your tonsils are gone. I was like, I cried. Like it was in so much, it was just so much bad. Keep in mind, this was when I was nine. Wait, we actually filmed all that. Yeah. And who, who remembers? When I was crying my eyes out because Biggie had to go and yeah. I really wanted Biggie to stay with that. I'm sorry. Right. Okay, who wants to hear my wisdom teeth story? For the win, the car saving me where like Saber's kind of being a little bit dramatic and she's making me worried. But you know, I'm like, okay, this is alright, and then the guy the girl says at the desk, she's like, who wants to go first? I'm actually already have to, I actually have to go first because my name's on it, so I'm like, me. 
Um, we're sitting in the room and um, stuff just starts moving really quickly. Like I was really worried to get my wisdom teeth move removed because I was going to get put under my first time um, being old enough to remember getting put under. Yeah, it stuff just, you know when you get that feeling that stuff is moving really quickly and you're not really prepared for it. Like when maybe you're getting in line for a roller coaster and, the, and suddenly it's your turn and you didn't really think you'd um. Oh yeah. You get like so, so suddenly you're in with the person you're answering all the questions and and then you're in your gown and then you're in the waiting operating room mm -hmm. and then you get caught up and at that point like i was trying so hard not to think of anything but just like get it done because mm -hmm. if i i knew if i started like overthinking it and was like oh my god i'm actually gonna be put under there's actually a chance i can die and i, I would have like panicked so anyway i go into the operating like oh it's hard to explain there's the operating surgery room where you actually you know do the operation and there's like this little curtain room mm -hmm. where they just kind of talk to you whatever yeah you know what i mean um Anyway, lie on the bed. Bed, the bed is bloody heated. They heated yeah, the bed for me. So it nice. was so nice. I was I like, I like totally no, but the bed was so nice. The air mattress like on top of you, like the kind of like like a blanket, it was like a blow up blanket that was like warm. Yeah, they like so kept pumping hot air into it. It was so good. It was so yeah. good. Um, and they said they, but then they told me why they're doing that. It's because they want my veins to pop out. You know, seeing the needle in your hand, you, just, you yeah. don't like it. It's like yeah, it's a human instinct to get it out, right? Oh, and then it's just like, meet the actual surgeon, and he's like, yep, yeah, we're gonna take out four of your teeth. Oh, um, and then we'll put some numbing, whatever you guys, blah, 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 blah. And, and then you get wheeled into the surgery room. And oh my gosh, I've never seen a surgery room except in like shows. And it is so scary. It's just like, you got that big- It's like a proper surgery room. Yeah, it's like, so that, scary. Is that what doing like a dentist too, with like no happy gap? My wisdom teeth were so deep into my gum, right? Like oh, they're super like, deep. They're not even- Well, that makes sense. Years I, years I, years I would've been like, I would've been like, I'd be really ashamed of you if you didn't need it. No, you're not ashamed of the tooth. But one of my ones were growing sideways, and then back in the tooth, so it was like better for me to just get it out in the surgery. Oh, okay. okay. It's probably get the big light above your head, and I was like, okay, okay, it's happening. Anyway, mum's like saying, we love you, I love you, we love you, like over a hundred times. I just feel like I was in a fever dream because I was like, yeah, okay. No. <laughs> anyway, he says, the anesthetist says, like, I'm gonna put something cold in your hand, but it doesn't happen straight away. And they give me an oxygen mask, they just tell me to breathe. So I was like, breathing, but I didn't, I didn't really know if I should breathe out. I kept breathing in because I was like, Oh no, I didn't know if I should breathe really out because really like the oxygen. Yeah. yeah, and then like my mum saying I love you, I was feeling pretty good. And then they say, you're about to feel a tingling in your hand. Legit, one second after they say it. <laughs> it's the stuff that puts you to sleep. And it was like actually really painful because I remember the lady saying, just breathe harder into the mask because it kind of stings. So I was like this. Because <laughs> it was really stinging. And that's all I can remember. Anyway, thanks so much for coming along for our crazy wisdom team. Well, they're crazy wisdom team stories. Thanks for watching. Catch me in I wanted you.